Hey everyone, my name is Artindi and this is I've Got Your Back. I got a question from Susamia Seafudin. Uh, sorry if I mispronounced that, I think it's French. But she was asking about this particular scenario where she has three characters and she wants to be able to control those characters um, alternatively depending on what she selects. So one will be controlled and the other two will follow and if she hits a key then a different one will be controlled and the other two will follow. She says she already has following code and so she was just wondering about how she could change control between characters. So here's what I came up with. Uh, well, not here actually. Let's go to here. Okay, so here's the scene. I have a uh, node that's just, I've just renamed it Active Manager, just a regular node. Added some code here. I have a um, global variable and a bit of code that will alternate between values of 1, 2, and 3. In my kinematic body, um, for each one of the kinematic bodies, I'm accessing the code from that active manager and then um, here, I, here I'm assigning it to a local variable and then depending on what that value is um, it will allow the, the piece to either move or follow. So really quite simple, very straightforward. Hopefully this isn't too complicated. You can look at it and um, take a picture if you need. And here I'll let you look at this one again. You can did not take a picture, but freeze the screen. You know what I mean. And then um, each of these different kinematic bodies or the, the different characters, they each have the, that exact bit of code, again, but with a different value. So there's the red one and there's the, the yellow one. So depending on what you've tabbed through in this spot, these guys will be able to access that value and then either give control to it or have it follow. Um, super simple, super straightforward. I don't think this is necessarily the best solution, um, but it's just something that can hopefully get the ball rolling for you and get you going in the right direction um, and hopefully can benefit other people as well. But uh, my hope is that this was a help to you because I got your back. Hey, thanks for watching. You know what to do if you enjoyed it or want to see more. And if you have your own questions about anything in Godot that you think are too weird for anybody to ever make a tutorial out of, then uh, put it down in the comment section and maybe I'll get you back.